Brad Keller, who got his first big league win against the Indians two years ago and has always pitched well against Cleveland. He sure has. And you know, he'll be looking to do that again here tonight. And a breaking ball strikes out Hernandez. And a full count of three and two, and Keller already has thrown 16 pitches. Player, look at that. Ramirez didn't want to go, but he's got to. Keller with another slider. Right-hander Shane Bieber on the hill tonight. He's been the best pitcher in baseball here in 2020. There Swung out and missed. And he strikes him out, two down. Got him. Shane Bieber strikes out a pair here in the first, and we are scoreless after one. Oh, man, Franco. And Whoa! On the money to Ryan O'Hearn, and Brad Keller gets a 1 2 3 second inning with the help of his defense. Put a star on that one. That was beautiful. He picked it out of clean air. He picked that. That ball was on him at 100 plus. I'm not sure the ex exact exit velo, but it was hit hard. That's a double for sure. Throw it by him. And Gordon strikes out. Third K for Shane Bieber. Let's see if change of scenery can help Adalberto Mondesi. There you go. Good located fastball right at the top of the zone. Fourth strikeout for Bieber. Third inning in Kansas City, no score. Bieber's two strike pitch and strike three called. Fastball in the outside corner. Merrifield is victim number five. And for Bieber, that is his 80th strikeout. On the 3 2. Blew it by him upstairs. Really good work. By Shane Bieber to get through the third inning. He struck out a half dozen Royals. And he hits it well into left center field. Alex got a good break and runs to the gap to take a hit away from Lindor. With three and two thirds scoreless. And he has a strikeout per inning in his career against Cleveland. And he's got another strikeout tonight. He has three in four scoreless innings. After seven starts with 75 strikeouts, he had 65 through six starts. There's a pitch that's on the outside corner at the belt. Called strike three. He'll get Naquin, Luplo, and Perez in the fifth inning. Good pitch there. He jammed Tyler Naquin. And that's the second time he has grounded out to Nicky Lopez. Hard hit again to Franco. And so it goes when you're having a bad year. Even when you hit it hard, there's somebody standing right there. And there are two outs. Here's pitch number 82 with two down in the fifth inning. And talking about ground balls right on cue. Three up, three down on three ground balls. And Keller needed only seven pitches. Does Roberto call for a high fastball here? No. Yeah, well, it was a good fastball. And just punched him out. He just <laughs> blew it right by him. I mean, this was just gas. Here's the pitch to Gallagher. Fastball called strike three on the outside corner. Number nine for Shane Bieber. That's putting him up, putting him down. Keller strikes out his fourth. It's just because it just breaks so late. There you don't see it. it. There it was right on his hands. Three up, three down. That's a 12 pitch sixth inning. Drilled. And there's a base hit for Santana and a rare hit this year when he's been down on the count. He Here's Fran Mio Reyes has lined out and struck out. He and Jose Ramirez share the team lead in homers with seven. Drilled in the gap. Lindor. Got to go. Santana, excuse me, is off and running. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him home. And no throw to the plate. The Indians will take the lead as Fran Mio Reyes delivers a one-out RBI double up the alley in left center field. 1-0 Cleveland Reyes with his 24th run batted in on the year. Phil Maytot is the new Indians pitcher. He takes over for Shane Bieber. A little soft liner, and that's going to be down in right field. So the Royals have their leadoff man on for just the second, make that third time tonight. And that's just their second hit. It used to, what, what made me so... Did it hit him? Okay. It did. That'll, Just clipped him. That'll get him in scoring position. And then, you know, we're at the bottom of the order here where the Royals have not had a lot of production. one nothing, Cleveland leading it. Royals have two on, two out in the seventh. Whit Merrifield, the batter. Nick Whitgren on for the 15th time this year. Drilled the left. Back goes Luplo. Makes the catch and hangs on. 
And that ends the inning. And look at the frustration of Whit Merrifield. He hit that ball right on the barrel. And Luplo almost got turned around, but he hung with it and made the play. And Solaire lays off the 3 2 pitch, and the Royals have back to back walks to begin the eighth inning. And now Franco. And Franco lines it into left field. That's going to tie the game as Dozier comes to the plate. So Michael Franco has had two big plate appearances against Karen Check this year. And the game is tied at one in the eighth. Adam Simber on for the tenth time this year. Oh, line, center field, base hit. Here's Solaire. Here's the Shields throw, and it's cut off immediately. That ball was cut off before it even got to the infield dirt. And Bubba Starling down in the count comes through, and the Royals lead 2 1. Now, Holland has reduced the game down to one out. And it's a ground ball to the right side. Nikki Lopez is there, and the Royals with two runs in the bottom of the eighth inning. The only runs they scored all night take game one from the Indians tonight, 2 1.